Next, we will practice the movements of the biaxial condyloid joints of the body, beginning with the wrist. The wrist joint not only allows flexion and extension and hyperextension, but also abduction, moving the hand away from the midline of the body, and adduction, moving towards the midline of the body. If one puts all of these motions together, flexion, abduction, hyperextension, and adduction, one displays the circumduction of the hand. Please follow along with the students as they practice the motions allowed at the condyloid joint of the wrist. The joint between the metacarpals and proximal phalanges of the hand are also condyloid joints, which allow for flexion, extension, hyperextension, abduction, and adduction. When one combines these movements, one can also perform the circumduction of the finger. Please follow along with the students as they display these motions. The joint between the metacarpal of the thumb and the trapezium, one of the carpal bones, the lateral bone in the distal row of carpal bones, is a modified condyloid joint known as a saddle joint, which allows for the great range of motion of the thumb. Please follow along with the students as they demonstrate the great range of motion that this saddle joint between the trapezium and metacarpal of the thumb allows.